Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In this presentation I'm going to provide two ways to view, basic and detailed. Starting with the basic, what we're going to do is test your single core CPU performance using the benchmarking tool Cinebench. High end users who maintain 30 FPS in Breath of the Wild average a score of 175. In general, scores below this will represent a CPU suffering from frame drops in game. Let's download Cinebench first, link in the description, it's only 80 megabytes. Extract the zip contents to your desktop and run the program. Once open, go to file and select advanced benchmark, then run CPU single core. Once the test has completed, post your results in the comments section down below providing CPU version, speed and single core score. You may also include your in-game FPS if you have experience playing. Now onto the detailed explanation. For too long all we've had is testimonials and guesswork. It's about time we applied some science and standardization for establishing whether your CPU is theoretically capable of running Breath of the Wild at a consistent 30 FPS within the Wii U emulator Simu. To do this we are going to use the industry standard benchmarking tool Cinebench and use its single core testing feature. Simu relies heavily on the single core performance of your CPU. I'd like to thank Discord user ColdShock for bringing this technique to my attention. This method removes a lot of the guesswork and provides genuine compute statistics. For now, the portion of the Simu community testing Cinebench has settled on a single core score of 175 as a solid average for those users who are able to maintain 30 FPS consistently in all areas with little to no FPS drops. There are always other variables to consider and Cinebench is not a bulletproof test, however it is by far the best testing tool we have for now. A score of 175 was chosen based on a group of users with high-end CPUs where the lowest performing CPU was able to maintain 30 FPS most of the time but not quite all the time and achieved that score. As a reference, my CPU is an i5-6400 with a base clock of 2.7GHz which can turbo boost up to 3.3GHz. My single core performance in Cinebench was 144. The high-end CPUs in question are the 6700K and 7700K respectively, which have results ranging from 175 to 190 at clock speeds of 4GHz and above. Assuming our target score is 175, then my result should lead to some obvious frame drops as I've not achieved the threshold necessary to maintain a consistent FPS in most scenarios. This is indeed the case based on my personal experience. The use of Cinebench will give new and existing users a good estimate of what they can expect to see performance wise without even having to go through the process of setting up the game. Cinebench is the perfect tool as it's only 80 megabytes and finishes the test quickly. In the description below I'll also provide links to Cinebench score databases. Also please remember to post your own results in the comments section providing CPU version, speed and single core score. You may also include your in-game FPS if you have experience playing. So there you go people, get testing, share your results and hopefully we can finally start to enjoy some standardization. I've been The Complaining Gamer, if you enjoyed the content thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down, if you want to come back for more remember to subscribe. Take care, have a great day and I will see you next time.